Hi guys, so it's Sarah Babes 2008. Today I'm going to be doing a travel, um, a what's in my travel makeup bag video for you. And I'm sorry about my hair, just taking it out being in a bun and it's really curly, so I've just clipped it all back to the side. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stay with my nans tomorrow. So we're driving to hers tomorrow, and I'm not getting back till next week sometime. So there'll be a lack of videos, but um. Just before I start, I've got a few things to say. This video is going to be absolute ages. Um, lately, I I uploaded my spring slash summer lookbook the other day, and I really enjoyed making it. It took me ages to edit, and then I've got like loads of views, which is really surprising because I didn't think I would. And then I got some likes, and I got really nice comments. And then lately, I've been like getting dislike, like a couple of dislikes every day. I've got seven dislikes on the video now. And I know, like, p other people get dislikes and people are like, well, you're only getting a dislike, it's nothing that bad. But I'm not that popular on YouTube and for me, getting dislikes kind of hurts a bit. Not like, oh my god, I'm going to, like, cry about it. Not, not like that. I know, like, everyone's got their own opinion and everything and I, I'd i rather people dislike and then leave nasty comments. And I went on there this morning and someone had actually left kind of a mean comment, but they actually removed it, so... I'm not going to go into like who it was and what they said, like you can private message me and talk to me about it if you want to know more, but I'm not going to say it now, but someone did leave a hurtful comment and it was a bit harsh, well it was only like one thing they said and it wasn't that bad, but yeah, so I just want you to like let me know if you want me to continue making videos, because I was thinking of maybe stopping, but I did want to do this video, so if I do get more dislikes and more comments then I might put private my videos and maybe even delete them and stop doing them. I'm not sure yet, I'm just kind of a bit upset at the moment I suppose because I'm just wondering what I'm doing wrong and 7 dislikes is quite a lot and I just love making YouTube and I love all my subscribers and I appreciate it so much. Just, um, please let me know if I'm doing something wrong. But anyway I'm just going to get started with the video. So I'm going to be doing a what's in my travel makeup bag like I said. So here's my makeup bag I'm taking with me and it's bulging and it's just this black leather, imitation leather, with these gold rings going down, you've probably seen it before, and it's from 17, is it 17, yeah, and then when you open it, I love it, it kind of goes like that, so it's kind of bigger, so that's an overview of what's in there, there is absolutely tons in here, and I have got a makeup brush bag, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show you that, so I'll just pull it out randomly, the first thing I've got in here is the Natural Collection Tinted Moisturiser, and I did go off this for a while, but then lately I've been wearing it for light coverage, and I think it's quite good at the moment. And this is in natural. Oh, there it is there. It's kind of quite watery. So I've got that in there. And that's from Natural Collection, and I'm not sure. I won't tell you the prices because it will be too long. The next thing in here I have is the MUA Press Powder. And as you can probably see, I've hit the pan. And this is in shade 3. So it's just a powder and it's kind of a bit broke but I've got a backup one so that's all good and I love that. The next thing in here I have this really day is an MUA blusher and I've got quite a lot of blushes and lip products so just so I can altern, altern, I can't remember the word is, just so I can switch around and this is in, so I keep clicking it, shade 2 and it's just like that and this one's actually broke as well I think. The next thing in here I have is my 17 Peep Show Mascara. And as you all know, I love this. I just love the lacy print on it. And it just says 17 there. And then black. And it just looks like that. I'll try not to open all the products because they might take a while. And I love that. The next thing in here I have is a Natural Collection um, Lipstick in Pink Mellow. And I love this. It's really neutral. Oops, I have to put that on my lips now, I don't know if I'm actually doing Eyeshadow in Sugar Rush and it's actually rubbing off already, the print thing. I've got quite a lot of eyeshadows as well because I like to swap them around. And it's just this gold shimmery colour. And then I have a 17 Pure Finish Sheer Mineral Blusher in Rose. 
And this is really good, I love this. And this is in rose, like I said. And it, the powder is down here, and then it comes with the brush, so you just pop that open, and then you have your brush, which is quite a good brush, actually. And then you just have all the powder in there. Next thing I have in here is just my moisturising. It's the Nivea Soft Face, Body, Hands Refreshing, Refreshingly Soft Moisturising Cream. And it's just like that. It smells gorgeous. This is really good. And I don't always moisturise every day, which is really bad. But I just can't be bothered. Because you got to wait for it to dry and then I haven't got time. Because of school and everything. Next thing in here is another mascara. And it's the Maybelline New York, the Colossal Volume Express Mascara. Um, then I have a e.l.f. lipstick in Seductive, but the e.l.f. prints rubbed off it, which is meant to be there, but, oh my god, you're never going to be able to see that, are you? And it says Seductive on the bottom. I'll just show you the colour. And it's like this ready pink colour. It's nothing like what it looked like on the internet, but I still like it. Then I have a concealer, and it's the 3-in-1 concealer by Too True. And I've been loving this lately. I used to hate it, but I love it now. And this is in shade 2. And it just looks like that. I would do swatches, but it just takes so long. Next thing in here is I have is a Natural Collection Blusher in Sweet Cheeks. Er, just this gorgeous rosy pink colour. Then I have a Nivea Gl Glamorous Gloss in Natural. I think it's in natural anyway. And it just looks like that. Then I have a uh, piece of hair just falling down. Then I have my Fast Stroke um, Liquid Eyeliner. And this is by Collection 2000. I don't know if I already said that. I'm just rubbing off. And this is in black one. And it's cracked as well. But I quite like this. The brush is a bit thick, so you've got to be careful. I just thought about that. I've got like a hair on my arm. It's really irritating. And then I have a Revlon lipstick in Lilac. See, I have quite a lot of lipsticks. And this is an 001 Lilac. I really love this colour. I haven't worn it that much. Do they smell? No, don't really smell. Because quite a lot of the lipsticks I have smell quite nice. Then I have an MUA lipstick in shade 7. And the other day I just realised that these bottom bits do come off. Do, 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 shade 7 it smells lovely and it's this gorgeous pinky ready colour again with a bit of shimmer in it the shimmery in it then I have a elf eyeshadow you're never going to be able to see that but I'll show you it anyway and it's just these gorgeous colours which I love I like to have a lot of variety of colours and stuff for my eyes so I can just swap over then I have an MUA eyeshadow in Shade 24 Pearl. Haven't worn this yet, but I'm gonna wear it when I'm at my nails, hopefully. And this is gorgeous, shimmery, purpley colour. Then I have another Emmy Wear Shadow, and this is from the Professional Range, and it's one of their trio eyeshadow. And I showed this in my haul, go check that out. And I might have done swatches, I'm not sure, probably not. And it's just these three like trios, and they're like balls, and I love it. Like little. Cylinder, not cylinder, like little circles. And I love it. So you've got like the highlight um, and stuff like that. I would go through it, but I just haven't got time. Then I've got a Natural Collection lip gloss in Raspberry Ripple. And as you know, I love this. Well, I think I've told you I love it. Then I've got my MUA Long Lasting Smooth No Crease um, Eye Primer just to. Help my eyeshadow stay on for long because you know it's hot as well, so you you get a bit sweaty. So you want it to stay on for as long as you can, and it stinks. Ugh. Then I've got my Carmex moisturising lip balm with SPS 15. Then I've got my Elf conditioning lip balm. It just looks like that. I absolutely love this, and it smells gorgeous. And this is in strawberry creme probably can't see that because it's so small then I have a 17 lip gloss but it doesn't have like colour on it and it's just this pink shimmery colour actually it's not it's like a hot pink I don't think I've ever worn this but I thought I'd take it just in case that smells quite nice as well and then I have my Flutters pencil eyeliner which I fill in my eyebrows with 
and it's just black and this is the wrong lid for it but I've got to yeah, keep some sort of lid on it. Then I have my e.l.f. Tone Correcting Concealer in Rosy Beige. And this is okay I suppose but it's just back up just in case my other one runs out or something. And I love the smell of this. But it does look a bit more orangey than my other one. But it's okay I suppose. And then I have a 17 Mascara. And this is in black. It doesn't say black, but it is black. And it's quite small, and it came with that lip gloss. And I just use this for my bottom lashes now and again, so, so I'd bring it just in case one of my others was playing up or ran out, I don't know. And then I have an MUA Instant Colour Eyeliner in Jet Black, and I'm, I don't really like this, but maybe I might want to alter, alter, I can't say it, alternate with, I can't remember how you say it. With my liquid eyeliner, which I wear on my waterline, it's just black. It's okay, it just doesn't last that long. And then the last thing in here, I have my MUA um, Clear Mascara for my eyebrows. And this is in shade 1. It's kind of a bit formal. And then I've got some things that would not fit in my makeup bag, which I'm just going to put in another bag. And I've just got my Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. And I'm not sure if I'm going to wear this because I'm wearing the tinted moisturiser but I'm taking it just in case and I've used loads of this. And this is in 100 Ivory. And then I've just got two palettes which obviously would not fit in the makeup bag. I've just got my bobby pin one and this is the Eyes and Lips collection. And I just use that colour for my eyebrows which I've all shown you. I might use some of the other colours but the main one is just that one for my eyebrows. And it's so big as well, but I have to take it because I have to fill in my eyebrows. And then I have another palette in, it's the Emmy Way Heaven on Earth palette, which I adore. Yeah, so I've got that. And then I do have, a, to edit it. But if you want to find out more about what's happening with YouTube and stuff, then please don't leave any horrible comments. Please thumbs up if you like it. And I totally understand if you don't like it, but... You know, I understand you've got your own opinion and everything. But I'm going to stop babbling. And, yeah, I'll leave all the links below and all that shit. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.